Welcome to another episode of Baker's Gonna Bake. Today, we're making pizza. Okay, so for today's video, I went to one of my favorite pizza places ever. It's called Precinct Pizza. It's in New Tampa, and they have these do-it-yourself pizza kits. So I thought it'd be super fun if we make a pizza today. Grab your ingredients. I'm gonna show you what we have here. So I have pizza dough. This came in my pack from Precinct Pizza, but you could find this at a place like Publix or uh, a lot of grocery stores sell pizza dough ready to be formed up. So you don't have to necessarily make it yourself. If you're extra, go on the Google, look it up, and you can find you a dough recipe. But we're gonna be simple bakers today. All right, next I have some flour. This is gonna be to help us form our dough. We have some marinara sauce, some pizza sauce to slather on our dough. We have some mozzarella cheese, the best kind for a pizza. And then you can choose whatever toppings you want after this because you're the boss applesauce. The two toppings I chose was pepperonis and bacon because Mr. Baker loves him some bacon. All of this goes together and we have a very delicious pizza. Okay, so at this step, you wanna make sure your dough is at room temperature and we are going to start playing with it and getting it all stretched out and ready for our toppings. So first things first, grab your dough and you're going to put flour on both sides of it. This is gonna help it to not stick. All right, all around there, around the edges too. And then <laughs> I already floured my surface because half of my flour already fell onto my surface. So we're going to just stick it down on here. And from here, we're going to take our fingertips and we are going to create our crust. So we're just going to push up and down and you can see I'm starting to create that crust with my fingertips just by pushing it down. All right, so can you see I have a nice crust around it. You see a big bubble in the middle. We're gonna deal with that next. So we're gonna flip our dough over. We're not gonna mess with the edges. At this point, just take your fingers and push up and down. You don't want to stretch anything yet. You're just gonna be pushing it up and down to get it nice and spread out. All right, so now that my center is nice and flat and I still have my edges. We're gonna pick the dough up with our hands. Now we're gonna make sure to keep it over our counter because if you were to have it over the floor, you could have a little accident and things might not go how you want. So what I'm doing is I'm just slowly taking it and bringing it to the other side, the other uh, hand, just back and forth, back and forth. Fun fact, my dad used to work at a pizzeria. So he would form a pizza dough when he was like 17. He got pretty good at it. He never really uh, gave me any lessons on it, but I just thought that was cool. So see, it's getting a little bit bigger as I'm passing it between uh, my hands. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start stretching it with our knuckles. So you wanna just uh, focus on the edges on this part so see, I'm just using my knuckles and stretching it around. Because if you do it on, in the middle and not by the edge, then what's gonna happen is it's just gonna get really thin and then it's gonna be really hard to, I don't know, put sauce on it because it'll just ooze right through the holes. So we're just gonna continue to stretch it with our knuckles until it gets a nice, size. We want it to be about 10 inches. Be a nice size pizza. Kind of set it down, take a look at it. How's it look in? Assess my situation. Pick it back up and continue just to stretch that dough. Okay, oh, I'm done having enough fun with that there. So our pizza looks like a great size. That looks about 10 inches to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my 
cutting board now. I'm just gonna sprinkle some flour on there because this is gonna help us when we wanna put it in the oven. Once all the sauce is on it, it's just gonna slide right off of my cutting board because it'd be really hard to get it from your counter to the oven without doing this, with all the toppings on it, if you know what I mean. All right, our pizza crust is on our cookie sheet. And now it's time to top it with the toppings that we have. So first, our pizza sauce. You can buy this in a jar from the store or you could do what I did and go to a pizza place like Precinct where they have a do-it-yourself kit and they just provide it for you. All right, so I'm going to take some and just gonna plop it right there in the middle. You do as much or as little as you like. So then you're going to just swirl it around till it's all around your pizza. I like a nice slussy pizza, so I'm gonna just keep on piling it on there. Mmm, so yummy. So if you like cheese pizza, all you would do after this is just add cheese, right? You can even try different cheeses. So you could do mozzarella and you can add uh, like Parmesan to it too. You can put ricotta. There's so many different ways to make a pizza delicious just by putting different toppings on it. So we're gonna make sure we're putting the sauce just in the middle. We don't wanna put it on our crust because our crust is gonna get nice and crispy and delicious. All right, I'm good on pizza sauce there. So next I'm gonna take my cheese and I just have some mozzarella cheese that came in my pack, my do it yourself pack. And we're going to just stick it all around there. So, you know, I say I'm a, a sauce girl. I'm also a cheese girl. I'm also a pepperoni girl and I'm also a bacon girl. So, you know, you might see, oh, Miss Sabrina, that's a lot of toppings. Cause I like it. I like it all. Give me all the cheese. Give me all the sauce. Mm, mm, mm. You guys, I'm so excited to eat this pizza today. All right. And that's the nice part about these kits. It can be quick. You can make it long if you want. If you wanna make your own dough, it's gonna to have to rise for like two hours and then you need it a little bit again and then it'll have to rise again for like two to four hours. So it would be an all day ordeal. You can refrigerate it and then bring it to your temperature, temperature the next day. But so many places just sell pizza dough already made that you can just get to stretch yourself and that's so much fun. All right, we got our cheese, we got our sauce. Now it's time to put our toppings on. So I have our pepperonis here. I'm just going to slap them on there in a nice pretty design. All right, our pepperoni is on here and now I'm gonna add some bacon. All right, that's enough bacon. And this pizza is ready to go in the oven. And that took so quick. My oven is not even done preheating. It has like 20 seconds left. So you can do this in like less than 10 minutes uh, and it's gonna be so good. So think about the different ways you could do your pizza. You can put uh, chicken on it with bar uh, barbecue sauce and do a barbecue chicken pizza with red onions. Mm, so good. You can do a white pizza. You can have spinach and ricotta and mozzarella cheese and no uh, pizza sauce. There's so many different ways. You can even do Hawaiian pineapple and ham. Do you think pineapple and ham belong on a pizza? I'm all right with it. I, I, I don't hate it. I love pineapple and ham pizza, but you're the boss applesauce. Time to stick this in the oven. So our pizza stone has been preheating in there for 10 minutes. Um, and now we're gonna go ahead and open our oven. And this is where you're gonna see why you wanna have it on a cutting board, okay? So I'm gonna open my oven. Have your parents do this part, remember. All right, now I'm going to shimmy it onto my pizza stone. Okay, our pizza is gonna cook for about seven to 10 minutes, uh, depending on the crispiness that you like it. We'll check it in a little bit and I'll see you when it's done. I seriously wish I could share the smell of my kitchen with you right now because it smells amazing. So I'm not fancy schmancy. I don't have a pizza peel that you can easily get out. That's why I shimmied it on in with my cutting board and I'm gonna shimmy it on out with two spatulas. They work. So I'm gonna open my oven and take it on out. Oh, have you ever seen such a yummy pizza before? This crust is cooked so well. It's a nice golden brown. It got nice and crisp. 
Those pizza stones really help do this, you guys. I'm gonna give you a closer look and we're gonna cut it and enjoy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut our pizza into slices. I have one of these big old pizza cutters right here, but you can also just use regular pizza slicer. All right, take it in the middle, cut it in half. Hey, look, we're learning fractions. Ho, 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 y'all. I am so excited to eat this. Okay, I could sit here and tell you how delicious this pizza is. That when you take your first bite, you're going to taste that cheese and pepperoni and bacon, and it is going to be so good. But if you don't actually taste this pizza yourself, you can only imagine what I'm talking about. You know, there's a verse in the Bible from Psalm 34, 8, and it says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Well, if you don't actually taste and see that for yourself, you won't ever be able to experience his true goodness for yourself. You can listen to others about how good God is, but until you understand it for yourself and dig into his word and truly discover that on your own, you'll just be riding off of what other people are saying about him and not experiencing it for yourself. All right, I'm going to try this pizza. It's lunchtime. See how it is. Mmm. That is so good. You guys are going to really enjoy this. Happy baking!